Good morning. Happy Martin Luther King Day for a holiday on 121 of 2013. And Mr. Obama is getting sworn in as I speak for the second term. What we're going to do is take this day because tomorrow morning on 122, Google is going to report earnings. In the calendar 2012, we gapped up here and we have broken that this this bottom right here. So we gap up, we come down, we test support, we sold down three days. Now, when Google reports earnings, they like to sell it down or they run it up into the report. There is a mechanical process that goes before they report after the close on Tuesday. What we will do tomorrow is monitor the actual intraday trade. One of the things that we're going to do is tell everyone that the earnings estimates might be a little bit too high. And yes, the intraday low was 701 on the Google trade on, on uh, the last trading day on Friday. So we've come from 745 up here. We've already come down from this last rally going into these earnings. We've already come down 45 handles. It's going to be extremely volatile. What we are going to do is trade the options the following morning on the 23rd. What we will do is we'll use the January weekly contracts. So therefore, what we're going to do is get the best wholesale prices based on the gap up or the gap down using the weekly contracts. Just to give you an idea, if we gap down, we would look at how they would take all the premium out of this side of the market. Over here is the call side of the market that's in the money, called in the money calls. And that their values have already come down significantly However, due to the option market manipulation in a weekly contract, <clears throat> we can get better pricing with the least amount of risk after the report, meaning that we don't need to buy up and out of the money 760 call, which is here. The 760 call is at its all-time lows. It's here at $2.45. This is a call chart up and out of the money. They were at $15 and they've gone straight down going into the earnings report. Yes, it's a deflated contract, but the risk still remain high because if we gap down $20 and these $2.45, even at this level, and this is all based on earnings volatility, they can mark these things down to a dime by 25 cents. So we're going to take the high road and not do up and out of the money calls. And if I look down here, the 660 put below the market, well, they're not as deflated as, as they should be. They're all the way up here, and they've already come off of their bottoms, and that's a 660 put below the market. So when Google trades lower, this particular contract right here the lows on this contract were around $2.30 and they've more than gone up 100% in value. Yes, the call, uh, the put side was way up here. Both the calls and the puts are that way. This is not nearly as deflated, so I'm seeing a high risk even buying below the money market puts on the 660 weekly. So what we're going to do is stay out of that on both sides of the market going into the report and the following morning, depending on what Google wants to do, is we'll go directly into the option market right here. And we will pick up the best wholesale prices based on one of two things. If we were to gap up on a great report, then the put side would gap way, way down. And we would look to see if Google has a sell gap on an earnings. So they gap it up. The following morning, they run it up. It would be a gap at a major resistance level where you would have a reversal and they would take all the premium out of the put side. That's, that's based on an earnings gap up and we would go in and do that. Now on the flip side, on the flip side, the calls, if we were to gap down, they're going to take all the premium out of the call side of the market based on one thing. 
of where these support levels based on their earnings announcements where we get support Google likes to bounce it's been one of the best bellwethers but we do know that the 13 January 13 is, is that there could be a little weakness in the number because we know that spending had contracted in the latter part the last three months of 2012 because of the fiscal cliff in the US so Google's not immune to having a little bit lower earnings this particular quarter but we will be dip buyers no matter what so if they if they gap it down on these earnings we're going to be buyers on the dip if they gap it way up to a major resistance levels where it would sell and pull back then we would look at buying the put side and shorting it so the least amount of risk and the trade management will be after hours We'll see how we can buy it on a gap down if it goes that way and or if they gap do a super gap. Um, I don't see that being the case. They would have, you know, I don't know that they could have in this case, in Google's case, I don't know that the earnings are at their top end and a lot of expectation is built in this name. The way that we make most money is trading the volatility. And the volatility will be in the after hours market and then the, and then on the 23rd on the opening bell in the morning the option market will come into play depending on the gap up or the gap down and we'll go in here and we'll buy and we'll make money and we'll update everyone at that time this is how we're gonna do the earnings on Google Google has sold down going into this report it's at a 2013 low right here here's a low right here they gapped it we broke it we're back at the 2012 bottom where the gap has come into play we do know that the 200 day simple moving average is right over here I will give you the numbers everyone that number is 656.41 going into tomorrow that's the 200 day moving average when we sold off up here and we were shorting it big it was up here came all the way down and tested that 200 day moving average and this was the last earnings report that Google did it was this day and I'm going to show you exactly what the price was this price when they reported earnings earnings got released early and that was a real shim sham and there's we don't know exactly because they never report until after the close somebody leaked it and it got out but my, my point of it is it was eighty three dollars and forty three cents from the high of this bar 760 to the low right here and at, that was eighty three dollars down then the next day we had from the high down to the low was another thirty four dollars then we bounced and got support here but we ended up making the lower low over here from that last earnings report down to six hundred and thirty six dollars which is they ran it that was about a hundred nine dollar reversal so we can see clearly that buying the dips that we always do when we get these big gap downs they pay a lot of money with the least amount of risk and that is the Google earnings preview the trade management is that we will trade it intraday tomorrow going into the earnings and then after the earnings we'll take advantage of the strength or the weakness on both sides of the market with the least amount of risk in the option market 